All right, that one's working. Now we got to get live on InstaWeb. Oh shit! Oh shit! No, don't move. Don't move. Fuck it. You guys still uh, be my friend if I buy a trailer? Of course. Shit. I used to. You know, I'm like grew up in that trailer, like some trailer park shit at one point, right? It's cool. It's cool, buddy. If I grew up in a trailer, you can grow up in a trailer. <laughs> I my, remember. That's my philosophy. I remember as a kid, like little little kid, right? You remember? We, we lived in a uh, trailer that. in Kansas, mm -hmm. and when the tornadoes would come, we'd have to like run away from the trailer park. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's so fucking dish. funny and yet so real. It's real. Like, yeah. yeah. You still got like, a good chance of dying. Even it's funny day. as fuck and yet so real so at the raw. same time. Like, so like Helen Hunt and Bill Pullman oh, Twister. Like, I fucking real. love that movie. Right? That movie really made movie. me want to be uh, a tornado a chaser? Yep. Me too. Oh, man. And then, I, and then I looked at like how much school you have to do because you're, you're technically supposed to be a meteorologist. Yeah, it's 420. Is it 420? Oh, yeah, it's 420. Fire it up. Let's at least get one thing right on this show. Okay, we're going live. Let that bitch light and melt down in there. All right, boys, let's do a fucking podcast. Oh, shit. Just don't do podcasts, get it? Hey, if you do it, you're doing it to the podcast, Pete. Wait, what? That's true. Maybe if she's hot. Wasting away in Margaritaville. Good song, by the way. So it's, it's a good place to eat, too, if you got the money. The, oh, yeah. Jimmy Buffett's actual Margaritaville? Yeah, yeah. good place. It's like, you know, it's not like Bubba Gump, but, but, but like not so cliche. But cliche at the same time, you know what I mean? I don't even know what that. First try to land shark beer. I don't even know what that means. I'm like you're cliche and yet not cliche at the same time. All right, here we go. It's already. Uh, right. Oh shit! I didn't hit record. Fucking mother. <coughs> is that way the fuck over there? It is today. Make sure it's because it's, it's. All right, the button stick. The blood stick. Ah. Yeah. Son of a bitch! Hardwood out. table. We upgraded to a hardwood table, and I fucked myself up already. All right, here we go. Casual. We're going in and... Okay, so where's our tunes at? Our tunes are right here. We're going in and... I don't need to get comfortable here. I hear no you tunes. You need to bring this to the edge of the it's table. Bring it in. Scotty, pull your mic to the edge of the table. Stop it's always better to be right there. Fuck. Get the best audio from you, even if you sit back a little bit. Here we go in five, four, three, two... America. What up, bitches? Up, bitches. Yeah. It's fucking Wake and Make America. We're back. Yeah. No, it's not. Love it's Bump Football, football Talk. But we are Bump Football Talk at Wake and Make Studios, is what I actually meant to say, okay. but that margarita already hitting. So, anyway. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Already hitting, man. Mm. Cheap date. I am, actually. I really <laughs> am. Like, you. Very few dollars on. Um, intoxicants, lots of dollars on cocaine. No, I'm just kidding. That, that escalated, no, but seriously, lots of dollars on food, actually. That's the thing that you'll end up spending the most money on. Your analysis test. <laughs> Did you like that answer? Sure, sure. <laughs> so, what he's talking about is one of my coworkers at a, another company that I work at was like, he said something about uh, all you need is a little pick me up, like some cocaine or something. To that he was really trying to be funny, but he was just trying to be funny. But I was like, but I wrote back in the in the in the in the, in the company chat. I said, I wrote back. I was like, because one of the super said DM now. I was like, let me just DM me now. Like, uh, like personal DM. And I was like, I was like, oh, Boston. And then I and then uh, I was like, <laughs> I said something like, use for urine analysis or something like that. <laughs> Year. Right, that dude's gonna get pissed us like every day for the next fucking twenty four to thirty six months. I mean, like if a he's, parolee. Yeah, if he's Jack working, ass. Like Jack he's ass. working there, I can see them drug testing. If he's working from home, he does. 
They're gonna start listening. They're gonna start listening again, and they're gonna start listening. Stanton was doing cocaine. That was not a joke. He probably was. Scotty just like completely switched his whole story. I'm just saying, I'm He's like, like, catching little parts of this. No, there's I thought a whole... maybe he was at the, you know, that's at, a little at the office. He's at home. No, no, no. We all work from home now, and oh, we're not yeah, going back. Yeah, to the yeah, oh my god, it's really that bad. It's hard to hear. <laughs> Okay, he's allergic to the blunt, so give it to me. I'll no, take care of that. My, the smoke went up my nose, and my allergies already been raw as fuck lately. Don't mm, talk about so. being in your nose raw. It is blunt football chalk. That's pro football done. Unprofessional and That's generally blunt. as fuck. <laughs> and no it's season three, guys. Yeah. We're in our third year. Um, you know, we kind of, we don't call ourselves yeah. seasons in a sense, but it is our third year. We are in season 2022. It's episode what? 69. I mean, we didn't plan that. It just worked out that way. You can't tell me that we had the professionalism to go back and plan season, the third season of Love Football Talk starting on episode 69. We just, we didn't plan that. But if you think we're that organized. That is the, God, that, bless, yeah, your God bless your soul. That, you know, bless your heart. Bless your heart if you think we're that organized. Maybe on Wake and Bake we're that organized, but definitely not on Blood Football Time. I built this show to not have to actually do real work because I do real work on our other show. <laughs> Yet I still do real work. God damn it, don't remind me. We're not supposed to talk about the W word so that way I feel good about what I have to do. Okay, that's all lies too. Anyway, so... We are in Wake and Bake America Studios 2.0, 3.0, 4.0. We have upgraded, escalated, and then um, downgraded. downgraded. Then we up, we re upgraded, and then we re. When was the We're downgrade? Not the We're not in the when penthouse. Was... The downgrade was to the penthouse, actually, out of the real studio. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> we got sent home for COVID, and we really never got to go we back for like five back seconds. Back. And even when we could go back, I was like, man, nah. <laughs> Even when they invited us back into the building, I was like, you know, why? Why would we can smoke pot in my studio? Because you don't make the rules here, bitch. Right? Of course, yes, they, they you know they had that one last you know joker in a in, in a spades game though because they were like, ha ha, you want to smoke weed in your studio at home? Christian station. What? <laughs> what? Talk about doing a whole one eighty, bro. Y'all went in the exact. They were like the. They were like literally the. First weed radio station in America ever known. And they went to a contemporary Christian talk station. Talk about a downgrade for them. Talk about a downgrade for them, though, man. We were fucking fun. You should have just left us on at night. You know how many, like, overnight working Christians were like, what in the fuck is this shit? I like them boys. Some of them would have, because I know people that go to church all the time on Sunday, and I smoke weed with them on Sunday (coughs) afternoon when they get back, and they tell me what they learned. Church from the law. The herb, dog. It's the herb. Mm, the herb of the weed. The holy oil, dog. You know, oil that fixes your problems. I can't think of any other oil but weed. But but, but do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I I can't think of any other oil that solves my problems except cocaine oil. No, I'm just. I had to after what that did do today in the work chat. Like he did things you just don't do in our business meeting, and I was like. So, anyway, enjoy your urine analysis. Let's get back to the so, show. Wait, 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 since Elon Musk isn't going to buy uh, Twitter now, is he still going to buy You know, he's mad because he knows Twitter's like got 8 million bots of their like 80 you know, million. Know, they, they, they could take him to court and <coughs> still buy it for a cheaper price. <laughs> yeah, that's the dumbest thing you've ever fucking heard. Man, I, 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 I get like a, a oh, fine or a fee or something. Now. Yeah, it was a, a one million <laughs> translation fee. Well, yeah, once you enter into like 600 right. million to buy it if they take them to court. So there's even before you or sign cheaper. the actual agreements to buy, there's pre-agreements that say if you back out, you have to pay. Oh yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> you don't even really get to the bargaining table without a lot of money well, changing hands. Which is why we should become anyway. business brokers. Look, we don't give a fuck what your business is. We're just gonna make sure the deal gets done. Elon, you need us. My name is Trey, which is also a mathematical term. I'm just saying. Look it up. Look it up. I'm it's French for the third of his power, which means the third of his name. I'm, like, I'm basically like a triangle. Okay, triangle trade. Yeah, just like the motherfucking Phil Jackson triangle defense. Only so mice. talk about the triangle, though, y'all. So y'all be careful. Uh-uh. We talk Illuminati. Oh too. my god! Oh my god! I was born into the Illuminati by name. Oh fuck! Whoa. I didn't even know. Like they didn't even call me and tell me, bro. What the hell? You've already gotten your check by now. 
Bitch. You know they cut tech as soon as you join. Right? Then I definitely didn't join because I'm definitely not paid. Bro, they, they cut that check immediately. There's no way. No. They might have. They could have. Maybe somebody so, else got your uh, um, your money. Yeah, hardwood floors are great until you're doing a radio show. Turns out, <laughs> did not know that. <laughs> Gonna have to really work that, think that through next time. Huh. Runners, floor runners. Yeah. I like hardwood floors in the studio, though. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Except for you can hear my yeah. chair rolling now. Yeah. I hate that yeah. part. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Get a rigger chair. Yeah, hold on, wait, wait. You wanna do it again? Ready? Go. You didn't make the sexy sounds. It, it was gonna it sound. It takes dirty. a little while. You gotta wrap it up. That's my sound effects, huh? Like. You gotta work for it. You gotta work for it. You gotta work for it. What? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> then you turned into a rat. I <laughs> tried. I even tried. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what's worse, the fact that I tried or the fact that I tried. You see how there's no other options, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the first segment of the show. First segment of the show, we're getting right to it. Deshaun Watson. Now, Watson. I think that if you're a, Cle or not, a Cleveland fan, you're like, oh, dear God, I hope there's no suspension. I also think you're a fucking fool if you think that you're going to settle 22 lawsuits against you and not get some form of a suspension. Remember, this judge is a professional judge. The arbitrating judge is a professional judge, not some schlacky from the NFL that thinks they know what punishment is and the right, the the right type of punishment. Did 20 of those cases get dropped all of a sudden? I'm just... Say it, so it's like down to like two or something. Not dropped, but they were settled. Yeah, and included a lawsuit that included the Houston Texans. Mm. Like, money will get you places, podcast. Dude, you can keep people super quiet with money. Don't tell I mean, him. Yeah, he doesn't even know. Does, but, yeah. Whoa. I'm, just, I'm just saying. Yo, what about like like Diamond Dollar? Or, Diamond Dollar's page? Yep, yeah, he kept people quiet with them, with them diamond suitcases. Kept me quiet. I was like, I ain't saying nothing about that, man. <laughs> this guy's like, wait, what? It doesn't count. Bro, if you guys knew how close, not close, I don't want to use the word close. If you guys knew how many weird things we know like that, it would blow your fucking mind. I'm not even kidding you. Like, my sister used to date Saturn. Harry Saturn? Yeah. Yeah, like, just for a little while. Like, we're talking weeks, dude. It didn't work out. But I'm just saying, like, that would blow yeah, some people. Yeah, a lot of math. But my sister was a... Man, yeah, oh. yeah. Why'd you have to go there? I this did, is pro football done. I'm professional as fuck. Also, yeah, and that's why you talk about Perry Saturn. It's wrestling, and that's another thing. I did. I am wild. Let's go. He was all about the scrippers, and my sister was definitely. Yeah. Doing I've that never heard a couple times. Time. He's cool as shit. He bought, back in the day, buy him a couple drinks at the bar and say. See, that basically what happened. Like, they went to the strip club and my sister met him, and then they just hit it off. They, they dated for a couple weeks, and that's it. You know, nothing real. I mean, he probably doesn't even remember her. I only remember her because it's the only wrestler anybody in my family ever dated. I mean, it's fair for me to remember. Like, uh, September, <laughs> September 9th or 10th. Uh, Better. Did I ever tell him that Justin Priestley, when he was a. He was, you know, most people don't know this, but when he wasn't filming episodes of 90210, he was actually a race car driver in his, in his free time. Yeah. He drove uh, uh, Grand Prix style cars. Just freaking Bobby. Anyway, when I met him, they were like, you guys want to come meet Jason Priestley? And my boss like had pit tickets and stuff from the restaurant I worked at because he was one of the sponsors. So I was like, fuck yeah, dude, that'll be cool. I'll get his autograph from my sister. She's like in love with him. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. No, seriously. So I walk up to the guy and he's like six foot two. And I'm like this. I'm like, I'm like, tap him on the shoulder. I'm like, hey man. And he turns around. Like, <coughs> hey man, you're not Jason Priestley. And he's like, no, no I'm not. Jason Priestley, but you're No. I towered over him when I was a sophomore in high school, bro. Sure. Yeah, he's five foot six, though. He, Ain't about your height? <laughs> that one you get slapped for. Uh, from the guy who's six foot, I mean, what, how tall are you? I'm five, five I'm actually five, nine, and three quarters. And if you put cleats on me, <laughs> bitches, I'm five, ten. Uh, Fuck you. If you slouch. If five. you put cleats on, you know, Kyler Murray, he's five, ten, two. Same as Russell Wilson. So fuck all of you. They'll be five, nine when they get my age, too, motherfucker. I used to be five, ten. The car see, accident you broke see, You see Trey out there chest out, you. not just because he's proud. He's just trying to make sure he looks tall. Yeah, that's all it was. That's all it really was. I mean, honestly. <laughs> really when yeah. people see me walking all with my chest out, they're like, they're, when, when people see me walking with my chest out, like back in high school, ROTC, they're like, look at this military, ex-military guy walking through our neighborhood. And I'm like, nope, this short guy trying to look tall. What's your shoes out here? I got you, man. What size short are I believe I wear a 10. All right. Okay. But... On a, on on now now on a, <laughs> I wear a like ten and a half though in the Nikes because they're too skinny you know and I got white feet but like in Pumas I, but in Pumas they make a shoe that fits like a little bit wider foot Trust so me, I can fit a nine and a half you'll, actually you'll fit these. Okay. 
you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. That's right. a whole new world. Well, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I don't give a fuck what size my shoes. You can't feel it. Fuck you. Ooh. Ooh. Woo! Spin. Yeah, shots fired. Damn, shots fired. Fired shots. Who said they wanted to feel your shoes, man? Right. Nobody except that kid with the jello next door. But I'm going to get that kid this Halloween. I promise you. I'm telling you. <laughs> yep, I'm telling and cracking now. There's a jello in my boot. So. <laughs> Desha- Deshaun Watson, though, in some real jello, though, because nobody knows the hello. Who, how what much is actually going on? I, I so would check like this to, out. Like, really like to know this. First off, the judge is not an NFL person. So if you're expecting her to give you an answer on NFL's training camp deadline times, you're out your fucking mind. She'll answer when she's ready. However. So she doesn't go by the trade calendar? No, not even close. Okay. You know, there's not a lot of people. I mean, actually, there is a lot of people. I was like, before you say that, <laughs> you got to remember that there are many people that follow the trade calendar. Oh, like, follow, and follow. But when it comes, like, you know, they don't call it the trade calendar, but like, they follow it. And they're like, seven <laughs> Sundays left. Oh, bro. Bro. And there are going to be seven glorious weeks of us leading up to the NFL season. Then, so doesn't that make there's six weeks to college? Guys, I yeah, I guess I, yes, I'm so excited for some for some college. I got my new Pac-12 yellow jersey, you know, with the uh, Arizona State gold flag off the sleeve. Oh, so sexy. Anyway, you know, this is our show like every other show, so I think this is the one. Uh, <laughs> so that is not out. He can't. He doesn't do that. All right, so. Um, Deshaun Watson gonna get in trouble. I think he's gonna do some time here. Now, how much time? That's the question. I heard rumors that the NFL is asking for anywhere between an indefinite to a two-year suspension. Hold on, how can you get anywhere from indefinite to a two-year? Okay, fine. From two years to an indefinite, you asshole. You know what I meant. Why don't you just say indefinite? You know, I'm just gonna drink this fucking margarita and sit back here. You do the show. All right, cool. So no, 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 no. I'm, I'm so controlling. I can't even let that happen. <laughs> See, this not even right. for two seconds. All right, right? Yikes. I got it. Not even on a margarita. I can't show it. No, <laughs> no I don't turn down. Bar? I am like little John shit. I turn <laughs> down for what? Nothing. Exactly for nothing. I turn up on the phone. I'm, I'm the reason that fucking Adderall exists. I'm why there's Ritalin. No, I was a Ritalin baby, though. They really put me on Ritalin as a little kid. Like, See? this motherfucker just don't stop. You know what the Ritalin did? I was like this. This way she let you ask around. Maybe sleep. For a little bit. Yeah. That's all really the cure oh, for that. Like, you know what's funny is? Check this out. When I lived in Germany and we could play outside and it was safe, I didn't need Ritalin. Yeah. No doctor ever said I needed Ritalin. My mom sent me outside. She wasn't annoyed by me. The minute we moved to the ghetto and I had to stay inside because we didn't live in a safe neighborhood, all of a sudden, Trey's an asshole. Just saying. I mean, and now I gotta go on Ritalin. My teacher you told my mom to put me on Ritalin. Yeah. Like, listen, bitch. Yeah, I'm not gonna say no your name on air because I'm not that asshole. But let me tell you something. You destroyed sixth grade for me, Miss Baker. Do it. I just made that name up. That air <laughs> one name. <laughs> Scotty was like, this motherfucker really did. He said he was going to. And but we did it anyway. we, You know what? Like, you know, our fans are rarely shocked by me either, actually. Let's just move on. So <laughs> they're sure. like, no, nah, that, that motherfucking train was really going to do that. And he knew he was going to do it. I didn't know I was going to do it, but yeah. then I did it. And then I made up the name because I didn't want to, like, cause riffs. Cool. All right. So... Trouble, blah, blah, Dude, blah, blah. I think we're looking at anywhere between eight, nine game, half season to full year. Who's, so who's quarterback? Mm. Jacoby Bursett, actually. Not a bad backup. Not a bad backup. You guys got to remember, Jacoby Bursett won he, like 10 or 11 games for the Colts, bro. Also, he played They fucking were dicks to bring in Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz, bro, they could have kept Jacoby Bursett starting. And he, they probably still would have made the playoffs. But that is a testament yeah, to the so team around. JTT Bro, there. First off, you no, could put any. First off, you could put any of the top fifteen quarterbacks in Indianapolis with the talent they have there on defense and on offense around it. That you really could put any of the top fifteen, the top half tier quarterbacks there, and that's a playoff team so they automatically. Get right? top fifteen. Oh, okay, so look, dog. He had a bad year. Like, hey, that's he had a year. rough year. Did you see what happened last year? Or year before that? Or the year before that? How about the time? He, he lost, lost the Super Bowl, Bowl by five, by, by three touchdowns? Yeah. Or, or well, sorry, by, wasn't it, the they were up by four touchdowns, and Brady put up five, basically, to, or whatever. I, it, I mean, I understand that's the defense, but you couldn't score another touchdown. Oh, by the way, our jerseys are sexy. I just want to tell you guys that ending our season 
um, ending our season and then um, getting to start our season uh, for the second. Because, uh, you know, the first season we didn't start with any MVPs jersey because it was our first year. So, as you know, on Blood Football Talk, it's a tradition for the Blood Football Talk crew to get the Super Bowl MVPs jersey every year. Um, so, in our second year, uh, we, of course, got Cooper Cup's jersey. And we're all wearing our jerseys for the start of season three. That is the tradition at Blood Football Talk. Because it, we aren't professional, but we do dress like classy bitches up in here. That's what we do. So, a snobby bitches, too. So, let's get to the next one. Baker Mayfield on and off the field drama. Baker Mayfield Ooh, now yeah. a Carolina Panther yep. in the likes. Now, check this out, guys. Carolina has two former number one NFL draft picks in Sam Darnold and Baker Mayfield. Then they have the best quarterback that was available in the draft this year. I say that we have a... Da, 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 da. Quarterback challenge, quarterback battle, quarterback fight. You know what's crazy? Baker Mayfield actually does good in those battles. Yeah. But it's his actual on field play. Not to mention that. Trying to, trying to force a play? Yeah. But when he just like actually goes out there. Cammy like, Renee stopped by the studio games. to say hi before she heads off to a baseball game. She'll get us a report from the local outfit affiliate. Love this way. She's they actually got, going for leisure. I'm just fucking with you guys. They, they got ranked out last night. Oh, is it a double header tonight? Well, actually, so you at one o'clock in the morning, babe. Playing, no, I'm just playing. But I would much rather go today because it's dollar oh. hot dogs. Oh, dollar hot dogs. Oh man, I'm missing out. Dollar dog day. Hey, you guys finish the show. I don't know. I'm just messing with you. Well, uh, hey, you got well, first off, minor leagues only go seven innings. Uh, no, they no, that's nine. college. I'm sorry, that's, that's college. nine. That's, that's nine college. innings. It depends no, on fast hour. It's a three-hour game. Yeah, three-hour game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, everybody say hi to Cammy Renee in the Wake and Bake Studios for the first time. She'll be here this Saturday for our show, though, so that'll be awesome. Yeah. So, let's get to it. Um, so, Baker Mayfield, head to Carolina, quarterback battles in uh, Carolina. I, I, let me ask you right now, then. Fine. You got Sam Darnold. You got, uh, what's the kid's name, Pickett? And then you got, uh, uh, I think that's the name. Did, did they draft Kyle Pickett? Yeah, they already got the small hand. He, it's the Whopper just, commercial no, wait, wait, with wait, the wait, little no, hands and the Whopper. Did you steal it? Oh my god. You know how many people have mentioned that on Instagram and Twitter? Oh my god. It's almost unprofessional. It's, it's, it's almost unprofessional. It's us. I mean, they'd fit in here. Yeah. yeah. It's my strong hand. <laughs> there is a uh, vibrator that's called the strong hand. What? Oh, that, that motherfucker it is all strong. It has for the, 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 for the, the oh, pickle. Oh my god. Strong hand. Oh this my is not the show for this, though. Shout out. Actually, uh, it is. It actually really is the show. <laughs> Real quick shout out to uh, Mob Dad Promotions who uh, is sharing this live feed. Which, by the way, I just want to give a shout out to Vital Cannabis on Fountain and Shelton. Uh, it, I mean, Fountain and Jetwing, rather. Don't no, don't go to Fountain and Shelton for that. Do not go there. That's not the spot to go to. Trust us. <laughs> we grew up there. Fountain and Jetwing, on the other hand, is the exact location to go to. Get your vital cannabis. Remember, when it's vital to have the best in the springs, when it's vital to have your top medicine, when it's vital to get the best there is, you choose vital cannabis. That's right. Jet Wing and Fountain in Southeast Colorado Springs. Vital cannabis. Check them out today. Also, you can order our weed maps and dot the line, baby. Plus, they keep everything up to date. Bro. You can see all Every drops. fucking time I go in there, they're dropping something new. I every love two weeks, it. Every man. Every two weeks. That's, that's which, hey, which is great amazing. because, you know, honestly, I get paid every two weeks. So I right. go in every two weeks. So it's like it's, perfect time. It's kind of tell weird that they have it set up like that, huh? <laughs> you know, I mean. Now that I think about it. Since you mentioned it, I never thought sure. of it before. <laughs> but. So let me, let me ask you something. Yes, sir. Uh, What's up, Bob? Oh, oh. We all know that I brought up the time, right? Right. It's like gonna be forty days, like like your. Uh, hey, how by the way, you did you see retired? his fucking fantasy football team name for this year? Forty days retired. Oh, That's as trashy as my my full JJ Wattage. Yeah. It's literally that level of trashy. It's like nineteen nineties <laughs> fantasy football names back in the building all day. What is your I mean, team name this year? Have you picked one yet? No, I haven't even gotten into it yet. Oh, Are you waiting until you see who you draft? Because I know you was like Brady for the win. Because you had Brady, I think. You might want to save that because. Eh? Do you, do you have Brady? Here, are you years. are you keeping Brady ahead. this year? I believe I have to. You don't have to. I feel the same way about Aaron Rodgers. I'm like, I don't of have. Of course you feel that way. I don't <laughs> listen. This is how good my backup. Listen, this is how good my backup. Give him to me. Hold on. This is how good my backup quarterback is. 
I'll be keeping Aaron Rodgers. I don't remember who it is. <laughs> Whoever it is. I, a, a, a Ron might be fucking missing uh, Devontae Adams, Wait, but the motherfucker is, can still sling a rock, goddammit. Who the fuck is And by the way, for the record, they were, they actually lost games. Uh, Wait, hold on. Wait, no, what was it? Whoa. I don't remember the record. I'm not going to lie to you. We're not going to. Not for the record. We're not going to do for the record when I can't remember what the for the record record was. This is pro football talk done. Obviously. Let's move on to our next headline before we take a break. Kyler Murray (laughs) and Lamar Jackson. Why did you do that to that man? (laughs) Still, right? (laughs) Fucking dick. Kyler Murray and Lamar Jackson still don't have contract deals. (gasps) Hey, wait. Is that a Fitbit on your wrist? Yeah. That's the same one I got on Google. I mean, on Prime Day. For Christmas. Nice. I know because I got it for myself and then gave it to Cammy to put in her Christmas box for me. Sometimes you just got to buy what you want and give it to your wife. You sound like Jamie. That's what she Is does. that what she does? Yes. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Jamie. We got, she, Jamie she just wants to make sure she's getting what she wants. Okay? Jamie, that, hey, Jamie, <laughs> that's exactly why, honey, we are kindred spirits, my dear, because that's exactly why I buy my own Christmas gifts and then give them to Mama to wrap because I'm getting what the fuck I want exactly. Speaking of Jamie, you can check her out. Hey, Rebel great Hair fucking, hey, shameless plug moment. That is Rebel Hair Art on Instagram. Go check out her work. She's looking for new loyal clients today. You can book with her. Uh, he said clients. At clients. The clients. What? You don't got clients? No, I got clients, motherfucker, because I'm normal. Well, why are you just just like that? I'm just pretending to be normal. I know I'm not normal. You're that normal. That's far from Anyways, normal. look up Studio One Salon and you can book with Jamie today. Across the Pacific bar. I'm normal. <laughs> so, hey, I've got some sprints that we're going to get during the break and some fucking uh, fritter boys. Do you got another wrap? Yes, sir. Fuck yeah, we're on another one. But that's during the break. Right now, so guys, let's go. Kyler Murray, Lamar Jackson. Yes. No we're gonna we're gonna do no 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 no. We're, we're gonna play <laughs> deal or no deal. So well, I'm gonna ask you questions, and you're gonna tell me whether Kyler Murray or Lamar Jackson is actually the bigger problem here. No um, so not having a contract right now, who's the bigger issue? Lamar Jackson. I agree, but it's because he's in his fifth year and he deserves it first. I mean, he was drafted. The, the, he was drafted like two years before Kyler and was the 2019 MVP. That man I'm going to say Kyler, though, just because. He was Kyler's rookie year. He was the MVP of Kyler's rookie year. I, I, don't, so, I, I want to say Kyler because I think like, we, he's I think already had issues. We like, have already seen dude, who are we gonna a little get? bit of issues. Listen, if he doesn't fucking show up because he's not getting a deal, then who do we have? So at this point, I agree that while Lamar deserves his contract first, I think that from a standpoint of keeping your franchise together, Kyler probably needs to get his contract like as soon as possible before not maybe not unless, before unless that's not who you're trying to build your franchise around. Mm, but I do believe the Cardinals are. I mean, when we talk about things like Steve Kime and the Bidwells and the way they talk about him, and right. then you talk about how he fits so well into, I mean, let's be honest with you, I don't know who Cliff Kingsbury can get to run his offense besides Kyler because Kyler is a literal, like, into a fucking light socket plug-and-play player for the Kingsbury system. Now, you guys know I'm not a fan of Cliff. I have never really been a big fan of him. You go win a fucking playoff game, get us to an NFC championship, and maybe a Super Bowl, but then we'll be fans of yours. Look, look. It's amazing how something that small but big can, can change a man about you, Cliff. <laughs> Do you hear me, Cliff? <laughs> so while I think that Lamar deserves his contract first because we talked about him being in the league before, he was the league MVP, he's won playoff games, I think he deserves his contract more, and he does definitely deserves more money than Kyler. But I think for a sanctity of the team, and who else the fuck do you got besides Josh McCown, who cannot, while he can win a game or two here or there where Kyler's hurt like he did last year, let's be honest, he went, what, one and two while Kyler was hurt? Man, but he won a couple of games. This guy, but, you're, you're hoping that he's in there just to hand the ball off to the running back. And dude, Kyler gets I mean, <laughs> Connor Jack, I mean, uh, James Conner, I bought your jersey because you beat, because you beat mm-hmm. cancer, doggy. That's the real reason I bought his jersey. That's, but we also signed him to three years, so it didn't, you know, yeah. it, it might have forced my ass and he signed a long-term deal with us, so that might be that. Yeah, just a little bit, I mean, if I'm being honest. He's going to be mad they trade him next year. God damn it, shut up. Don't you shut the dirty <laughs> mouth. You know what? You know what? You know what? Don't make me put that career in oh, injury on one of your players. Oh, man. No, I'm just playing. I wouldn't no. do that. No. Don't, don't, Madden, don't Madden curse this, man. <laughs> when, when David Carr 
broke his uh, leg, mm -hmm. I literally, right before it, yelled, break his fucking leg. Did you and feel then, bad? Yeah. I, I looked at it. I thought it was my fault. I, I, I was like, he was a Raider. I played Fuck a good him. asshole. Just for a little, <laughs> bit. Just for a little bit. So then you were like, he's still a Raider. He's still I, you a know, fucking Raider. Break his I feel the same way about 49ers when they get hurt. I'm like, See? I'm like, fuck him up. And then he gets Judge fucked up. Much. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm a bad person. But yeah. he still plays for San Francisco. Yeah, All right, so... Um, we're dicks. No surprise there. Welcome back. Season three. It is blunt football talk. That's pro football. That's unprofessional. That's fun. You know it. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to do one blunt, break today. Blunt, blunt, it blunt, is blunt, the blunt. kickoff of, of the third season of blunt football talk. We're back for the 2022 NFL season. And we ain't fucking around because I hear we may have to stick around for some XFL. Beach? I will be yeah. honest. The USFL got boring to me. But the yeah. XFL was dope. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Listen, listen, no, listen, XFL listen. Is Whoa. Is this is gonna freak you guys out. But this, I believe, the St. Louis Battlehawks will be back. And like, I can't remember the other three teams, but Tampa was not a team that was named as a team that would be a team returning. I worry. Right? I worry that the Tampa Bay Bandits did so well that there may not be room. They really didn't do well at first. There may not be room for them. <laughs> I hate you. So anyway, welcome back, buddy. I love you, but I hate you. Now I'm going to push out your chair because you're a bitch. Oh, fuck, your legs not even there. God damn it. That actually hurt my butt cheek to swing my leg that way. That's what you get. Old getting old sucks. But anyway, the fucking violent bastard. Trey, son of a bitch. All right, no, seriously, let's do this, though, boys. We're going to get to a quick break. And when we get back... We're going to be talking about Jimmy G getting permission to get a trade. Matt Jones, better or worse year two. Urban Meyer, Trevor Lawrence debacles. And are the Chiefs the weakest team in the AFC West? So crazy. Yeah, the weakest thing what the fuck did I just so have to crazy. say? Yeah, we're on it. Angels going to be mad at you. All right, so boys. Let me go grab some weed, but no long break. No long break. I want to get you guys out of here quick. Plus, I want to go to the fucking pool. You see outside, it's sunny as shit. Oh, but the apple fritter is lit, my dudes. Oh, and it's so good for pain relief. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Right now, my I'm going to grab some footage for you, too. Appreciate y'all. I'm going to do some fritter. Oh, no, 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 Here we go. Here's my pitch. Here's my pitch. Your what? My pitch. Hey, everybody. Thanks for checking in on the Wake and Make America live feed. We're going to take a quick little break and start up a new live. Thanks for everybody who's checked in. Uh, we didn't see because... I'm burping were... because I've been drinking margaritas, but, you know, wasting away in Margaritaville. No. No, ever. Okay. What is Tradoville, that's right. Oh, Tradoville, he says. Yeah. Look, you can call me out for wrong speaking. But, watch your recorder. Yeah, you can edit that. You can edit that. You did it live. That was awful, sir. Trip Margaritaville. Like, for real, did you even try? Fuck you, dog. No. You're not my type, sir. You're not built properly. You have no ass. You can't take this dick. <laughs> at, the same, at the same time as completely being a complete cocksucker to me, he still manages to also somehow emasculate me completely. Thanks, bro. You're all, how does that how do you emasculate you? You don't want to Oh, no, you I'm didn't. You demasculated me by trying to violate my cornhole. I know pretty much. Bro, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm already a margarita respect. deep. Y'all can't be fucking with me. I'm trying to type, goddamn it. You don't want to talk about margarita What the fuck is that bullshit? Fucking hate ass, bitch. <laughs> make it make sense. Make it make sense. <laughs> 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 what the me. fuck did you just say to me, you little fucking special child? <laughs> make it make sense. I'm so upset I'm not recording. And dollars. Oh, I am. Oh, okay. Just download it. <laughs> I don't, you know, I do the raw video, so I just upload it straight. I do, I don't edit it down. Other than at the beginning, I will at the beginning until we get right there. But I pretty much started and sat down. 
other than I think forgetting to do like eight things like usual. Okay, so that's up there. And then let's start a new video. Live. From Jersey City. Okay, it's season three. Yeah, I gave you the fritter. Let's roll up, bro. Do your job. You're in my way. You're in my way. Here, Actually, no. Let me go ahead fucking and asshole. Hey, there's knives in the first row over there if you oh, want to yeah. just cut clean. You want to get stabbed? I don't know, but we're about to go live. <laughs> this will rip the blunt, so yeah, I thought he was uh, Oh, shit, it's facing the wrong way. I think it's facing the wrong way, yes. Oh, yeah. I don't even Trevor's gonna talk about knives and shit, so. I don't even actually. Knives up, cut a bitch. Man, I'm so excited. Knives up, motivation. slice a snitch. No, I'm just playing. I mean, but not playing. I need to catch <laughs> Preston's like, wait, bro. Okay, I'm done. Now. now I need to. Now I need to. Go ahead. <laughs> Why'd you quit recording? Did you run out of space? Oh, no. I was on live, so I'm going to... Oh, live on Facebook with us? Yeah. Yay! On our Facebook page? I never go on there anymore. Are people still dicks to us? Probably. No. no, they don't really pay attention to us no more. I'd be putting up shit, and it's like... No likes. 100 people... See looked it. at this and did nothing with it. No one liked it. But I have the same thing like in my, my Stone Panda NFT group on Facebook. I have 75 fucking members. It's because we've been shadow banned by Facebook, bro, because we went super political. And I'm okay with that. Well, Let's go. on top of that, they took my fucking money away. Oh, they did that to me. Over a post that said, treat her right, and had the T crossed out in his face. Yeah, right. With the crotch. But everybody's clothed. I was Are telling people haters? to go to a Twitter space. Don't fucking kink shame me, Facebook. Face. Fuck you, Meta. Let's go. Let's now go. when I go over there, my video's going to be dead. That's in the metadata now. Way to go. Good job, Trey. Way to hey, go. Mark Zuckerberg. Dick. Suck, Mark Zuckerberg. That's what I call him. I call him Mark Zuckerberg. Wait until my... We need a new social media that's like TikTok. But let you do weed shit too, because TikToks are dicks about that. Here we go. Oh yeah, they banned. Five, four, three. Good evening, America. Ding dong dong. Keep the motherfucker ears ready. Yeah, that's Dr. Dre on the track. Uh, it's eighty-seven nine five. The easy. Remember that shit? That shit was great, right? <laughs> that shit was great. Our childhood was great, wasn't it, Preston? Wasn't it, Scotty? Our childhood was great. Preston, Podcast P is a little bit older than me, and Scotty's a little bit younger than me, so it's like perfect because we glance over like the end of a decade and the beginning of another decade from our births, you know what I mean? And it's great. It's like late life. 70s, early 80s, and mid 80s, you know, or, or, or late to or, or early mid 80s, you know? It's great. So, guys, you keep the heads ringing. Dr. Dre, oh, Man, that's true. What a great producer. Some of the best beats you've ever heard. Remember when he that bitch? Bro, remember when he... Yo, dude, so like, I don't care what motherfucking Vanilla Ice say. Motherfucking Suge Knight hung you off that building, bro. You signed over them rights, bro. And all I'm saying is, y'all, you should have sued that fool. Because nowadays, you could, you could like sue somebody for like poking you out of your shit back in like the 80s. You telling well, me to sue a guy what, in prison? Yeah, what are you going to get for poor guys? I don't know. Room? I'm just tired of the drama. He doesn't even have death row anymore. Why are we talking about this? Hip Hop Hab, so Saturday, though. Hip Hop Hab, Saturday morning. That's right, right here on Wake and Make America show. In the Wake and Make America studios. Hip Hop. 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 Hey. Go. 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 Just kick the dog. That's actually. No, I'm just kidding. So here we go. So, actually, actually I, did, I did smack him in his butt. I'm like, get out of here. I didn't kick him. I didn't kick him. Get him with my hand. Like that. Came right back on here. Why is your beard so nice? It's very gray, though, old person. It's a boomer. Hey, did Damn. you get your fucking Cetaphil? You get your social security check yet? Yeah. Is it the first or the third of them? Uh, wake up, wake up. <laughs> Thank you. Fucking, fucking Scott. Oh, yeah, Scotty Bivens, that was funny. Just a, we love you, though. All right, so here we go. Hey, I actually got rid of mine no, for a little while. It's the summer. I just was really hot, and I was just like, dude, I'm going to shit this shit. 
Yeah, me too. You're gonna be mad with Chloe like, damn, I wish my beard back. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna shave it again. I'm just gonna let it grow up to the winter, but then I'll be fine. I, I actually started growing it pretty quick. It right used now. to grow so slow, but now that beard's growing quick. That's not to get old. Yeah. And nothing like grows on top. Like. My beard grows so fast, and nothing grows on top. It sucks. I have to shave like three times a week, but nothing grows on top. All right, so, um, but I dropped the top, and I get frisky with it. Fucking God. <laughs> Like my hair, I dropped the top. Welcome back to my football talk. It's pro football, football done. done. Unprofessional. As fuck. So, that was really good, guys. Just that for the record, that was actually really good. good. That was almost too, too, too professional. Too, too yeah, you're going to have to go back and snatch that We're going to have to go back and edit it out. That, that's on y'all. That's on y'all. Y'all did that shit. Y'all did that shit. What do y'all should start at the top? Just be like, oh, my bad. So, this, 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 this. let's get into the next bullet point of the show. Are the Chiefs the weakest team in the AFC West is a question that a lot of people online are asking. And so I thought I'd bring it to the table because, you know, I'd be following all the little sports, so wait, different yeah, pages and stuff on, 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 on stuff on Instagram and, 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 and TikTok. Kansas City Chiefs. How are you going to ask that? And motherfucking Chargers. LA. LA, or not LA, Las Vegas Raiders and the Chargers. And the Chargers. So, the Chiefs, the Chargers, the Raiders, and who else? Broncos. Y'all ever notice how everybody calls the, the Rams LA and they call the Chargers the Chargers? Like, y'all ain't welcome here. Fuck the Chargers, Diego, dog. Fuck, go back fuck the Chargers. From, from um, south. Oh, actually, I wish they would yeah. move back to San Diego. They tore down Qualcomm Stadium, and my son was so sad. But he likes being in L.A. He's a show-off. There you go. He's share of five, uh, was it five billion dollars. Hey, if the Cardinals ever stadium. left Phoenix, dog, I'd probably have to ride with him, dog. I'm just, that's my team, bro, till I die. I got a tatted on me, dude. That's your dog, boy. If they move, they ain't be the Cardinals no more. Then I'll just have a really cool, like, throwback tattoo. To a time like my speakeasy tattoo, A Better Time in America, right? Mm, yes. That was a better time when that place was open. That's how I met Scotty. I met you because of the, of the show. Yep. But I met Scotty because of the speakeasy. And then when Scotty and Kemi sat down, Kemi was like, holy shit, I know you from high school. Right. And we was like, okay, now we got to hire him. After we had to let somebody go because they were a bit sexist, the girls felt offended. I mean, okay, so... Uh, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> uh, it was an interesting time during the fuck show. The fuck the Raiders. Fuck the Raiders. Okay. On paper. Fuck the Rams. So who's the weakest in the West then? AFC West. You know, here's the thing is, first off, I'm going to tell you guys, and you don't want to hear this, by the way, but I do believe that on paper, now listen, we always say this every year, me and Pete, go on paper, on but it doesn't mean it's going to fucking turn out that way. Fair enough. But, and, and P and I do predictions because of on paper, things look good, and also because on paper, things look too good, we predict the other way sometimes, right? I think the Chargers are actually the best team on paper right now with what they have in the right places to actually make a run. They have all the skill positions filled and they have all the defensive skill positions where you want money and money bags at. As long as they stay healthy. And this is the thing like with the Cowboys where we talked about on paper, the Cowboys are really good, but they also didn't stay healthy either. They're okay. really good on paper. Look, we started talking year. about the Chiefs, and all of a sudden, Scotty started getting calls out of Kansas. Now, what the fuck's that about, bro? <laughs> Seriously. It's like we summoned the Chiefs fans. They was like, don't be talking no shit. <laughs> but look, when you talk about on paper, I say this. Chargers, Raiders, Broncos, Chiefs, in that order. That's a horrible order. Well, then what's your fucking order, smart guy? Broncos, of course. Oh, my so God. Broncos will not be much? You Biased much? Biased or not? Fucking number one. But I do believe that if they gel quick like we saw with the Buccaneers and Tom Brady, if they gel quick, you really have the right skill position tools. I mean, come on, guys. You did lose no offense. Don't get me wrong. But you have Jerry fucking Judy, Cortland Sutton. You have fucking, uh, what, goddamn, uh, 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 Melvin Gordon and fucking that fucking dope-ass kid that was a rookie last year. Um, goddamn it, help me out here. What's his name? Mm-hmm. The running back kid, Scotty. The young one. That basically made Melvin Gordon look like he was getting old. Oh man, he did, didn't he? What is this? Name? Fuck, I can't. I'm throwing a blank here. I'm losing blank. I drink a few margaritas. Fans, fucking forgive me, but you know who I mean. Scotty, look it up real quick while uh, we're talking. But anyway, get back to me with that answer, okay? Scotty on the stats. Stat man, Scotty Pippen, baby. Yeah, that that, that was. Uh, so that was four. That was his job. I am concerned with the Broncos only from a gelling perspective. 
But they have everything though. So if they were to gel like maybe mid season mm -hmm. and then push a run like a one Buccaneers team did Javante two years Williams. ago, I would not be surprised. Javante, Javante Williams. Williams. And you know what the thing is? I wanted to say Jameson Williams, but then I knew he would backhand me for it. Across the mics and all. Just like, whoosh, oh, mics ah. still coming to the studio, fucking banners from old stations we created oh, fall down. Shit. Drop ten bucks off. And then I cry. <laughs> so anyway, and then I cry. Yeah, this man just said all your shit's only ten bucks. <laughs> Damn, bro! Like, do you realize that I just donated the whole like three thousand dollars worth of shit? The whole oh, because I was like, I just donated like three thousand dollars to fucking Goodwill. You a dickhead, bro? Makes me worse. Hang up ten dollars on me. I'm also writing that off, so that makes me bald and bougie. You're bougie. Yeah, they're bald and bougie. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, uh, What's your order? Oh man, this apple. Right. Finals. Thank Broncos. you for fucking rolling uh, that up for me, man. Broncos. Appreciate you, brother. And then what the fuck the rest of the teams that are on that division? Raiders. Raiders. Chargers. Chargers, Chargers I, Chiefs. I, I said fuck the rest of those teams on oh. the division. Now who's in that division? Fuck my the bad. Rest of those my teams. bad. Misunderstood you. Again, I'm very deep in double margaritas right now, and I'm going to the hot tub after this. 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 Kevin's gonna come over and be like, "Did you guys let this boy get shit faced?" And your only answer can be. I let him do shit. He's grown ass man. Yes, was actually what I was thinking, but that works too. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the next one. After the Urban Meyer debacle that Podcast P for one more season, I'm allowed to mention, said that the Jags would start 5-0. and oh. And by the way, just for the record, they started 0-5, oh so maybe a little um, Nostradamus. Like Nostradamic okay. dyslexia? <laughs> Nostradamic dyslexia you have? That's a new it's disorder, like, by the way. Therapists are actually cataloging you as the test subject for Nostradamus dyslexia. Cool. I make my it's predictions great. backwards. <laughs> hey, well, can you do me a favor? You can, you, can you really think the Cardinals go fucking 0 and 18 for me? Please? No, I told you they make the playoffs. Oh, and they did. I said they would make the fucking playoffs, asshole. I, I, almost everybody I had said them. they were. Yeah, yeah. Did I have them there? No, you didn't. Bro, I have to... Whoa, whoa, Before you say no, you're probably right. Second... <laughs> it, it, I, guys, I'm about to get it ready. Now that I've got the house a little more cleaned up that we moved into, I, out in the garage, I have the board. It's out in the garage. Right there. That's wrong. No, no. Yeah, that's my calendar. That's actually just my family's like, who's got doctor appointments calendars? But good job. <laughs> it's a board. It's, it's right a board. It was white. You get that much credit. <laughs> it's stuff's written on it. We can erase it off of it. Good job there, Donald Trump. My, Good job there. My fifth I will I need to go stab you. Right? <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, but I really do stick my meanings in. <laughs> incredible. Most stupendous. Wow. <laughs> now you just sound like that one Turkish president. No, I'm just playing. Oh, now I'm just being a dick. I really don't even know. I've actually have not been watching the news. You, you boys I really haven't either. Like, really. You, uh, I, I do watch the January 6th insurrection hearings because I think that as they, an American... They have prime time coming shit. up tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. And as an American, I feel like that's my sworn duty is to at least watch, pay attention, and observe. Mm, you gotta learn I don't have to really like what they down. say. Yeah, right. I don't, I don't have to agree with what they say, any one person or otherwise. But what I do have an obligation as an American is to pay attention. I'm a voter. I have a job to make sure this country doesn't go off the edge of democracy like it almost did on January 6th. And so I'm watching for that reason. And also because I host a talk show that's absolutely going to talk about that this Saturday on Blood Football Talk coming up. That's right, the insurrection. Uh, sorry about that, Pete. You don't have to fix that away, though. I didn't mean wait. What did I say? Bubba, bubba, bubba. Yeah, you are so mixed up right now. Bro, it's that margarita. That mix got me mixed. Carly. That's got me mixed. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm just going to go to the pool and just like pass out. Kevin's going to come over and me looking like a prune. No, because I'm smart enough to hold myself out. I grew up in Arizona with a pool at my grandparents, not mine. We had a project. I, I didn't say pool. I didn't say pool. I said pass out. Like, you won't find me fucking face warm, down. Nobody said that. But I mean, yeah, unless, yeah. Pool. And, I mean, unless somebody wants to try me like that, that's fucked up, bro. Like, I'm a really good person. I donate to charity. I take care of kids that aren't even mine. I mean, fuck, dude. Did you, you know, know that your pool is open year round? Year round? You bitch. Trey. What? Did you know that your pool is open year round? I did. When I got did in there, it? yes. And when I got in there, it was like, was it like, looks so dope when it snows. You gotta go up there when it snows. I will go up there and get in there. I have it a bathrobe. So I have a bathhouse robe that's like real thick, like a like a like a thick coat, like a like a I'm thick not flannel. Sure, I'm not sure why that matters. But yeah. okay. Thank you for telling me that though, because I was wondering if it was because it felt heated when I got in. I was yep. like, this is way warm for a for a regular pool. This is heated. And it's actual like oh, Olympic God, size. Yes, so nice. I can do laps in that bitch, bro. Yep. Yep. 
You ever miss South Florida? That's why I can't wait till I get my Fitbit, which is waterproof, and then I can do laps in the pool. You ever miss South Florida? What? All oh, ocean swimming. You know what I miss about pool? All pools were heated. They weren't heated. They didn't have to be heated. Mean, heated by the sun. I guess that doesn't help. They're solar warm. They're solar heated. No, the water is like literally. <laughs> I told my kids that one time. They're like, I'm cold. I was like, go outside. And you're like, but it's ugly out. And I was like, when the sun's out, you can get solar heated. Just wear black. It was like, you're an asshole. No, that's real black. shit. But you I, can. I learned to lay down on concrete. As a kid, because my parents weren't letting me back in the house. No, I was like, get outside with your old snuddy ass and roll a snowball, but get the fuck outside, you're annoying me. Bro, like, I know that's... That was like the best listen, water. Listen, let me tell you something. It's the worst thing to ever do. Ever do. Yeah, as an adult, yeah, I now know... Rubbery. As, I, as an You're adult... Like, listen, that was hold on, hold on, hold on. I know as an adult that that is a terrible idea. I am probably also ADD I'm and partly... I am ADD Austin. and partly crazy because of that water. Also, yeah. that water just hit different, bro. When you was a kid. Oh my God, that, it was so good. I'd be like, Grandma, I'm about to hit that water hose. And she'd be like, all right, yeah, go ahead. And you'd always have to, so hey, cool. remember That's when you fine. had to wait? Remember how you had to wait? You just had to wait a little bit for the hot part to come out from the part that was in the hose right. that was yeah, warm. Yeah, yeah. They had to wait for the warm part. Then it just came out like ice water. Ice cold. Oh my God. Grandma, thank you for letting us use the hose, well, no, lady. And plus, yeah, she wouldn't let us in. She'd be like, take your ass outside. What the fuck you doing? Yeah, Our I, family was mean. Like, you kids yeah, think we got it bad? We tell you, shut the fuck up and go play video games. Right. When we were kids, they that's was like, I if I that. see you before lunch, I'll fucking stab you. If I see you before dinner. I oh, my God. Yeah. It's like they know we're talking about the Chiefs. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, moving on. Urban Meyer, the that's debacle. So Podcast piece of moron, but the debacle of Urban Meyer, it's just over the Jags thing. Nothing more. I don't know what you I'm a hateful, spiteful bastard. Ugh. I don't know. I'm right back. No, no, seriously. Urban Meyer. Here's the deal, guys. Urban Meyer, Trevor Lawrence debacle. I got to ask you, Podcast P, what's the, what's the deal here? Do you do you think that, um, that uh, you know, you have a problem? Do you, you think sure? Lawrence, do you think he's going to have a problem? Do you think he gets better? Is the sophomore year okay? You know he finished, either it was last or second to last in interceptions last year. Yeah. He was at the bottom of the barrel in quarterback ranking, rating, interse- or, or yards, fucking everything. I mean, he was just terrible. But, but, before you get crazy on me and go all Mark San- Sanchez, Sanchez with the butt fumble, sorry, I've had a few margaritas. He could be Sanchez or Sanchez at this point. Dirty. But either way, the butt fumble, Mark Sanchez, before you go full butt fumble on me, let me say this. The Urban Meyer effect. It's only going to get better. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, now he has, you know, fucking a former Super Bowl coach. A former... Dude, Did come on. Build this Bro, around if him? you can fucking get something out of Carson Wentz's dumbass, you know then you can get the something... Cons, then you can make man. Trevor Lawrence be at least a top... You know I'll go top 20. He gets out of the bottom 10. Spin? This year, like a, a portray. Bro, they had draft picks too, dog. Like they was legitimately the, set up. They was lit. Like, Loaded. Dollars. So I think that can. When you ask the oh, question, yeah, yeah, mm, when you ask the question, put your peace signs up, for Pimp C. Shout out to Little Flip, my homie. Peace up, A Town Dad. And you know I'm down with the. H-Town. You know I love H-Town. You know I love Houston. I love all the homies from Houston. H-3. All the, Hey, H-3. straight up. Shout out to all the Cloverland G's. Love you. know I love H-Town. You know I love music people from H-Town. Shout out to Mike Watts. You know, Mike Watts helped me path my career. He's like one of my mentors. So shout out to Mike Watts out from Houston too as well. Anyway, let's do this. Yes, can Trevor Lawrence be better in 2022? No. The answer yeah. is absolutely. How can you not be better right. when you've removed the year? problem that P thought was the solution. I just want to point that out. And I didn't think it was the more. solution. I was. You said five and oh, I hate you. Because of Trevor Lawrence, not because of fucking Urban Meyer. You know what? I accept your rebuttal. That's fair. Here's the point. Scott reads up like, fuck like, you, it's my turn. Like, it <laughs> ah, I know. I pay but the way he reads for it, I was like, no, nigga. <laughs> All right, so. <clears throat> I let's move on to the next one. doesn't take the extremely high tax that you charge right. for it. You know, keeping him in the middle might be the right thing. I mean, for the sake of smoked him, we might want to leave him in the middle here. That also means one of us is going to spoon with you later. Okay, that's a lie. So, Mac Jones. 
<laughs> Never. Oh, Matt, you you know, you the old food. rusty spoon, don't it's you know? That's not No. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> I don't even know what that meant or where that went, but we're just going to move on. We're just going to move on. Mac Jones, year two, better or worse? Who's, who's the coach? Bell, the motherfucking Belichick. I mean, he's really the truth. Yeah, like, you, you have, like, one of the best coaches Six ever. Cut, Six Super Bowl wins. So I'm definitely going to say right. it's going to be And let's be honest. There has to be improvement. Listen, right, listen, 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 listen. You can't take, remember last year what I said? You can't take is to go to the Patriots. Exactly. I said if you're a fucking moron in San Francisco, so, if you take Mac Jones because he is the Tom Brady of the first round this year. Let me say it that way. The Tom Brady of the first round that year, and basically, you, you want that guy to go to Bill Belichick. He fits the system, and he can be molded by one of the greatest coaches to mold quarterback a quarterback ever. Guys, what you don't realize is, when you think about things, Jimmy Garoppolo, Jimmy Belichick, Be- Billy Check, a Belichick, Billy Check, Billy, Billy Check. I said Billy Check. We did. Anyway, but anyway, really but that was kind of cool. Anyway, that's what his nickname, Billy Check. Billy Check. You got Billy Check, bitch. <clears throat> anyway, so Bill Belichick, you look at Jimmy Garoppolo. You look at, uh, I can't even think of the other guy that used to be fucking uh, his backup that went to, I think it was Kansas City for a while. And uh, and, and then there's, um, and then there's um, fucking, uh, 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 of course, Tom Brady, obviously, the obvious one. Drew Bledsoe? But, um, no, Bledsoe didn't play the Bell Tech. He did. Oh, shit. So, so, Bell, so Bledsoe. Replaced? Right. So, Drew Bledsoe. I mean, I'm, you know, I was thinking of Drew Drew. I was thinking of, he holds the ball like he does. I was thinking of the other Drew, not Bledsoe. Sorry, my bad. Drew Locke? No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm pretty margaritaed in. in. I'm pretty margaritaed in. I'm going to need to eat some what? food before I go to the pool, honestly. Like, I'm pretty lit. I'm having a good time. This is season... Drew Brees? That's actually the Drew I was thinking about. <laughs> I was like, he played for the Chargers. Wait a minute. No, but you're yeah, right. You're, you're, you're talking about the other Drew, Drew Bledsoe. So you think about Drew Bledsoe. If you think about the organization of the of the Belichick brothers in general, when you see what they were able to build, you know what I mean, as, as, as just as each other. Anyway, you had one Bel- Belichick going to Cleveland, uh, or, or excuse me, Baltimore. They would eventually move to Baltimore, staying with he stayed with the franchise basically, right? You had the other Belichick brother, and that became the Baltimore Ravens that had the likes of of, of Joe Flacco and fucking Ray Lewis, fucking goddamn fucking uh, Ed Reed for fuck's sake, right? Like, Did, like what? Weren't they the only expansion team to win a Super Bowl in their first year? I no, right? no, it wasn't Baltimore because Baltimore had a, Baltimore didn't win that Super Bowl until with Flacco with the 49ers when the power went out. Mm. So it was Panthers. Oh no, they won one no, back in the, the day. Year. It was with, their they first won one year. back. You're right. They won one back in the day with fucking uh, Ray Lewis and shit. But it wasn't the first year. Wasn't there a, wasn't get on there a, it. What was the first? Look up Baltimore Super Bowl's the first year. Was Baltimore. I'm 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 pretty sure not because Ray Lewis was not drafted by the Baltimore Ravens and they didn't win the Super Bowl his rookie year. I mean, excuse me, let me rephrase. Ray Lewis was not drafted by the Cleveland Browns. He was drafted by the Bengals and he did not win it in his first year. Bengals. He didn't play for the Bengals. God damn it! I am lit. Ray Lewis was not drafted by the Cleveland Browns. He was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens. And it, they did not win it in his first year. It was in the early 2000s, though. You are absolutely correct about that, my good friend. But the Baltimore Ravens started in the late 90s. They didn't win their first Super Bowl until the early 2000s. Hey, what was the first expansion team to go to the playoffs? In their first year. <coughs> Ready, set, go. What do you guys got? Give me guesses. First expansion team to go to the playoffs in their first year. I know the answer off the top of my head. That's what I'm asking. Cool. What's your guess? You fucking dick. These nuts. Yeah, I hate you. It's the Carolina Panthers, actually. They went to the playoffs their, their, their inaugural season. I'm pretty sure that's the first one. Outside of the AFL, NFL, merger. No, first. I could have sworn it was the Ravens because when they first, like... Scotty's looking that up. First made, yeah. So I got to say that Mac Jones, it's hard for me to say that he gets worse. But that doesn't mean they make the playoffs. Because, guys, I, I have no doubt that oh, in... Oh, what's... What, 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 2001? Yeah. That wasn't their non year. They moved, they moved to Baltimore in, like, 95, bro. Calm your tits. 
Ray Lewis was drafted their first year in Baltimore, I'm pretty sure. Listen, you don't want to do this with me. I'm a fucking football knowledge god. He really fanned me. Like, he really fanned me. Now fanned the smoke out of his Oh, face. I was like, I thought Damn. he was like, fuck you, bitch. I was like, Damn, he really okay. fanned me off. When, when did they move to Baltimore, Scotty? 1969. You asshole, that's the Colts. Can we try a different team like the Ravens? When did the Baltimore Ravens move to Baltimore? Just ask that, and they'll tell you when they left Cleveland. You know why they had to change their name to the, to the Ravens? Because Cleveland owns the name the Browns. Because the Brown is It's the Brown, the Brown family the name. Brown family, yeah. yeah. So, Which is why the Browns got to come back to the Guys, Browns. I got to ask you the next question. Why you look that up and get the fact checks, Scotty Pippen. When did Baltimore move to... 96. It was 95, so you were wrong. <laughs> no, no, I, okay, fair enough. 95 was the last year in Cleveland. Their first year was 95. Either way, their first they moved Super in 95, in and their first season was 96, and I hate you. First Super Bowl win in 2001. Yeah, yeah. So that would so, be. So, but who was the first? Was the. Black No. Do you want to do this? <laughs> ah! Anime fight scene. Wait, 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 you got the point. Crane! Oh, punch! You stole my father's soul! I've been watching anime with Cammy's dad. By the way, Cammy's dad watches anime. He is cooler than me. Just on anime, that's it. Nothing else. When you say anime, what anime do you watch? Faster. Actually, I actually want to check out. He's, it's fucking pretty cool. You and I watched it with him, and I was like, I need to the, watch that's this. That's on Netflix, though. So. Uh-uh, Hulu, I think. It's on Netflix. Oh, I didn't know he was watching Netflix. That bastard. He didn't tell me that. He told me he was on Hulu. Maybe it is on Hulu, too, though. So. <laughs> we got to get one more question out of the way, and then i got to get you clowns out of the studio. You so I can get your pool. Yeah, you're to Honestly, I want to show you the game room, too. Scotty, if you want to walk over there with us, uh, you know, we got a game room. That we, 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 we drive over towards it and then we created a game room in the building that's not adjacent to our house cool. so um, anyway long story short we're going to go have some fun we're going to check out the Trey Ranch <laughs> out me. far away from everyone else because I fucking hate people, Fuck people. dude I, I literally my job makes Fuck. my day job makes me very much social to the point where I don't want to fucking be around people anymore but that's a whole other thing I love you two you're my best friends and I only have one other best friend that I can think of besides, well, I have two other best friends. I have four best friends total. I mean, I, okay, I'll check it out sometime. Check it out at the pool, hey. Check it out. So, right, let's do this though, because we have a pool now that actually is nice with a hot tub attached to it, sucka. Oh, Jimmy G got permission to get a trade done by his agents. As of today, breaking news. Thank you, Adam Scheffner, for breaking that news. Um, Adam, yeah, I was watching, Adam, you know I follow Adam Scheffner on everything, literally. Um, everything that I'm on, I follow Adam Scheffner on, because that man knows what the fuck is up. Shout out to Adam Scheffner. From the most unprofessional football show in America to the most professional football show in America, what's up? Yeah, they need us like ESPN overnights kind of thing, <laughs> at best, more wild. We drink margaritas radio, and smoke baby. pot. Oh, absolutely radio. radio. Definitely on TV, dude. So, Jimmy G, though, guys. <laughs> Mike, what? <laughs> My question is this. <laughs> Looking at the quarterback. God damn it, that blunt choked me the fuck out. <laughs> I need a drink. You know what? Anime fight scene. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> your face <laughs> was like very anime, thank you. But anyway, um, so, no, seriously though, so Jimmy G allowed to seek a trade, um, basically San Francisco, San Francisco is trying to unload him. My question is this, Where's what's the go? landing spot considering the quarterback landscape and considering they held back before a good landing spot for him would have been Carolina. Who's going to pay for that, though? A good landing spot who paid money like that would have been Carolina. Yeah. But my point is this. They just took 
Baker. Now they don't have that money. So who has the money to afford Jimmy's contract? Because San Francisco made the mistake. And back then, we weren't even doing a show, and I told you they shouldn't fucking pay him. Mm -hmm. I call him Jimmy Gerslopolo. What are they? It was $25 million that, <laughs> what? that was going to be paid That's by a certain nickname. time. It's a good nickname training. if you don't like him. I mean, Jimmy Guap, though. He made that Guap, dude. Jimmy Gerslopolo, if he goes to a team I like, then I'll stop calling him that. Margarita. What if he goes to the Cardinals? Back up. He can't run like Kyler, dog. Like, yeah, them legs is real. <laughs> over the last three years, check this out. It's a fun fact. Before Kyler got hurt, over the last three years, he's gotten hurt, right? So staying healthy is a thing. But well, how about the check this out. Fucking quarterback? Dude, he's got the highest so completion percentage, and he's got the most, like, touchdowns and this, that, and the other as a running quarterback. Yeah, because he's running towards the fucking on, line. Don't you judge us <laughs> short quarterbacks? That's what we do, man. Oh, and then should. when someone can finally get fucking open like you, we throw it. Look, well, well, you, you shouldn't have to run. There's a lot of personal coming here. When you have like the six five giants around you, right? Yeah. yeah. I got an argument over the holiday because I was I play I, you know I played court some quarterback throughout my life, right? And one of the, <laughs> one of the receivers who played with me was at a barbecue over Fourth of July weekend, and so he tried to talk a little smack, and I, so I went up into the garage and I was like, it would have been nice to have somebody who could catch. Well, which is a, which is a hard burn to a receiver, right? Yeah, to which I then said, yeah, he goes, ball. he goes, what you talking about? I was the best player on the team, and I said, no, you weren't. Bobby was, and he said, I said Bobby was even better than me. I just the only reason he wasn't quarterback is because I was more accurate than him, and I go and I go and I go, but Bobby was, and he goes, he played Division One college football. And I was like, you're making my case for me. <laughs> so, you know, the ball busting of blood football talk and football never stops. Not even during the offseason. We be shit talking. Because here's what it is. is Over our breaks on blood football talk, I go to like barbecues and we play like family football. And I just be out there darting motherfuckers, right? So he talked all that fuck shit in the garage while he was cooking on the grill. He comes out. Why are you cooking in the garage on a grill? Well, it was right in front of the garage, but he was standing in the garage when we were talking shit to yeah, each other. Okay. So anyway, so he comes out for family. Yes, there's no fucking pot. Yeah, so he comes out for family <laughs> football, right? That's like a given. Right. Yeah, he comes out for family football. We beat them four to none, and I threw three darts on him, whoever he was covering. I looked for it on purpose. That's funny. Right? And Kevin was like, Kevin, we get the car early, and Kevin was like, you have to do that. And I was like, I know. Yeah. I know. No. Yeah. <laughs> and I was yeah, like, yeah. I was like, look, I can't throw fucking seventy yard bombs or sixty yard bombs or anymore, but I can still throw fucking darts. You don't lose your accuracy, you just lose your strength. There's a difference. So anyway, so yeah, so I darted him like three times for touchdowns on who he was covering, just to be a dick. <laughs> and even my kid was like, "Are you doing that on purpose?" And I was like, "What?" And he's like, "Throwing on Ricky." And I was like, "Rich no. dropped his name." I was like, no. And he's like, you knew he was going out. Actually, that was an accident. But I was like, no. And he's oh, like, we did think you'd do it on purpose. Yes. No, it was an accident. I've had a lot of money. We, did, we didn't think so. Ricky, I, Ricky, I love you. Sure not. Ricky caught a lot of touchdowns for me, but he also dropped a few. So I love you, but fuck you, you asshole. Ricky Butterfingers Johnson. Technically, it's it never mind. That would really be right. that would, Okay, that would really be name dropping him. <laughs> It doesn't help that the last year you played Actually, any type of life. This fucking guy is really going to out him completely. No, this, it really does suck though that the last year you Just played competitive sports was with say. your ex's brother was on your team. Jesus. But I loved him. Oh, Jackson, Jackson. People are going to know now. If he listens, he's going to know exactly who he's talking about. Yes. Butterfingers. Okay, so Jackson. listen. I'm going to tell you the truth. He so, I, no. We love each other. He's a good dude. Like, well, he really is a good dude. He listens to our show. Doesn't he doesn't listen to our show for this reason. What you think? I think it's because he's salty. So look, I broke off from our record. <laughs> look, I, no, he shouldn't listen to the show. Cole has buttery, salty hands. No, no, I'm just. I love he's a you. fucking rip cracker, dude. Rick, I fucking love him. He's a white guy. He's a white guy. Oh, he's fucking horrible. He's fucking horrible. horrible. You're such a fucking. Oh, oh yeah. You're such a fucking oh, yeah. podcast. Why'd you have to go there? Yeah, like tell that. me you're racist or not? Tell me you're racist. Come on. It's because you grew up in the band. You're the one. I was because you grew up in the band. I was actually talking about the crackers. You're the one talking about white guys. You're still talking about crackers and a white guy. 
Okay? Hey, for the record. Florida cracker. For the record, Rick. Though you did. For the record, Ricky. For the record, Rick, I threw a dart at you and I threw it nice and so hard that it got to you before anybody could. You said nice and so hard. Before (laughs) it fucking (laughs) Margarita. Before anybody could get to it, it got to his hands, right? And it hit him in the hands, it blew his hands apart and dropped it, right? And he blamed me for throwing the ball too hard. I just want to let you know. You bastard. Hey, look. Uh, There's cool. people out there. I was just trying, trying to, to enjoy sure that thing off though, because it was like it was like it was like third and goal. There's people out there just trying to enjoy themselves, and you threw it too hard. You're so stupid. So Don't stupid. defend. I'm, you're a lineman. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you're a wide receiver. Don't defend him because he is one. Uh, I'm I, not I, defending I, him, dog. I'm just saying. He's actually calling him out. He's like, wait a minute. Uh, actually, he should have caught you, that. You, <laughs> <laughs> Back to the triangle. Oh, I used to tell guys, I'm going to throw it where you should go catch it, but if you're not smart enough to go there, I'm not throwing an interception. I feel you on that, though. I do feel you on that. But if you're a receiver, you're supposed to go where the other person can't catch it. Only where your guy That's all that really matters. Bro, Bro, as long as the other person doesn't catch it, it's easy to. Like I tell people, I promise you, it's easy to play Madden when you're a quarterback. When you have to run it for your life, it's a motherfucker. Let me tell you something. Oh, and then getting murdered by people like Scott Size, but only run as fast as you do, is not fun, but also somewhat fun. Like, when, I would, when I would stiff, when I would stiff arm a big old, when I would stiff arm, when, so when I would stiff, stiff arm a big old boy so like Scott, fingers. when I stiff arm a big old boy like you into the ground and take off running, I'd be like, God. No. <laughs> <laughs> but when they would fl- when they would pancake me, they'd be like, "I don't think I've ever been stiff armed." I never was stiff armed. You're a big guy. It'd be hard. Look, you'd have to be coming like because as an edge rusher, I actually, and then I get your ass like, when you leave. Come like, if you're coming like this, he could yeah. swim move. And, oh, yeah, I was gonna say like when you know? when when I was playing. Yeah, the guy I caught football, football was pretty funny, but you're right though. I was I was actually when I was in high school, I was several to people up. I was several times everybody. warned just stockier. I mean, not about talking. hitting. You used to murder stick. motherfuckers like me, huh? I used to get in trouble. Like, coach, your, you like, you listen, your arm out you can't be fucking people up on our arm. team. Yeah, my, my, my coach was like, you can't be fucking people <laughs> up on our team. Try dragging me, bitch. I used to hit people. I used to hit receivers when they're breaking the their route. Ever, and my coach would be like, bro, that's a flag. You can't hit him when he breaks the dude's route. No, just in the park. And I'm like, but, I'm like, but I want to make sure he know that he can't come here. I was a motherfucker when they let me move from linebacker to safety. I was like, oh, I bro, you gave me space? Oh, you gave me mind. space to use my speed? You Fuck me, you. And I get to chew? When I was yeah, linebacker, I bro, you know what they used to burn me with when I played linebacker, like Pop Warner and like low, low leagues and shit? You know what they used to burn me with? Play action. Because I was so quick. You were ready to get that. Tech. I was so quick. You're, you knew what oh, you were going to. Was. I'd be like flying through the line at linebacker. <laughs> Bam! So when I went to high school, the coach was like, what's your biggest weakness? I said, I actually get through the line faster than the play develops, and so I have to make a decision, quarterback or runner, and and, and, and it's no way to slow it down at that age, you know? And I'm like, I have to make a decision, quarterback or runner, and sometimes I make the wrong decision and hit the runner, and the quarterback keeps it, or I hit the quarterback, and the running back gets it. And so he was like, you know what? Let's just move you to strong safety. You ain't not but a, a linebacker who's freed up to cover people. And I was like, I can cover people all fast. Is, is that a hat? Okay. Yeah, I wash all my hats, man. I keep them clean. I keep them fresh. You need me to help you with that? I got it on Amazon, but I mean, you can get them pretty much on Amazon, Walmart.com, shit like that. Why? Because I brought 5957. You don't rock 5 You don't rock 5957? Oh, you got a gangster. I ain't gonna touch it again. You ain't a real, you ain't a real nip. Dad hats are in now, by the way. You can't pull mine no more, motherfucker. He put, he said he saw nigga threw up the W. Yeah, you ain't no gangster. I knew that way. He, he, really he was like, he saw. He saw. Hey, tell me you didn't grow up in the projects without telling me. <laughs> I grew up with a Jason, though. You, you grew get, up pretty tight. You about to get two groups Jason. of people. He grew up in. next to the projects, not in the projects. Like right across the street. Bro. He went to a good school. No, it didn't. He chose to fail. No, I'm just oh <laughs> Your failure in life is your own a, fault. I come from a small town. You can't blame nobody. <laughs> this is the greatest show that's not the greatest show ever. One middle school, one high school. You didn't 
really have a choice, I feel. But we just had to go hey, here. Hey, hey, and hey. And at least I graduated more than sixth grade. Before hey, I was here for Bodine. Hey, oh, wow. it's like that video I tagged y'all in. I said, we're going to blow up what Ball Talks like. And he's like, guys, guys are going through some things. Good for you. <laughs> I hope it fucks your life up. Uh, I hope you fail. I hope you fall flat on your face. I'm like, these are my friends. Yeah, this is us. You <laughs> yeah, that was the best one. I hope it scars you miserably. I was like, damn. Get him! I started saying get him after it, like in like in how high. Yeah. Every time he say something, I was like get him. <laughs> anyway, so we're horrible people, but at the same time beautiful people. Like you know, the beautiful people. Okay, I'm done. I'm rocking out. I'm rocking out way too much. Where I could be rocking out on margaritas as a fool. Mom gonna fucked up and left me home alone and went to baseball or uncle or uncle. And I got the boots myself with the dogs. It's about to be cracking. You put the dogs in the mm -hmm. back They get in there and swim like oh, the devil's. Like the little propeller. It's actually really cute. Anyway. Do they have little life jackets? Mm -mm. The, no, no, no. My dogs are actually a swim breed. Mini dogs can swim like a motherfucker, bro. No, if they start struggling, I just go get them. They try to catch me. They're like, I'm gonna catch you. And I'm like, bro, I'm yeah, human. Yeah, I'm part like, 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 yeah, like mermaid. My family's Puerto Rican. We do boats and swimming. I'm about to fucking show this dog. Everything is competition to me. I'm telling you, it's like in my nature. I'm like a, a horrible person. They call it murder. Blah, blah, Seems blah, like blah. so inappropriate at the moment, but at the same time so appropriate. I don't know how that actually works out, but I love you guys. We're out. Hey, hey. season three. 2022 NFL season, XFL coming back. We got it all. You know what it is. Murder. Yeah, buddy. It's your boy. No, I'm actually pretty lit. I need to eat some pizza. And yeah, your, your eyes are glossy yeah. as fuck. You know what's funny is I feel glossy. You know what's funny is I feel glossy. <laughs> what the fuck? That was fucking nice. We finally figured out what podcast Pete really played. It was basketball You're like right every right. other brother. <laughs> I swear, my whole summer, Scott's whole summer, your whole summer, basketball court. Huh? Oh, tell the truth. I gotta get back in shape, dog. I gotta get back in shape for that. No fuck that. I can't run like I used to. Peace out, everybody. It's been fun. We love it. We're getting out of here. We're trying to fucking go get fucking, 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 fucking fuck. I'm trying to go fish. That too. I wish I could go with you, actually. If I didn't have to work tomorrow, I would literally be leaving with you. No, he knows I'm telling the truth. If I didn't have to work tomorrow, I'd be like... Well, okay, so the truth is I don't have to work tomorrow, but it's because I, <laughs> I have a doctor's appointment at 9 in the morning for the hernia. So you so. could go fishing and get up and go to that just fine. Wait, what time are you going fishing? I want to be there like 9-ish. You going to Pablo? Yep. Okay. Off the South Marina. I hate you because I can't go. Off the South Marina. I have Marina. other reasons why, but it's include, if Cammy was home and not at a baseball game, I really could. Yeah.